Uh, and good morning. This is the Houston Oasis. We're a community grounded in reason, celebrating the human experience. And uh, that's what we do here. We do it with a lot of intellectual content and also some artistic content. And this morning's artistic content is my good friend, Mr. Mark Everson, who is a member of the Oasis. Come on up, Mark. He's going to kick us off with a couple of songs to get us focused. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Mark is a very talented acoustic guitarist uh, playing uh, the classical type guitar in several genres, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Please put your hands together. Thank you, thank you. In fact, I am a flamenco guitarist, uh, as opposed to classical. Um, a lot of people don't differentiate, or don't know what the difference is between classical and flamenco. I was telling um, TC that I had already tuned up. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but it's, I guess it's acclimated to the room here. We're not in tune again. Okay. So, flamenco is music of the Spanish gypsies, and it's a mixture of many influences. Uh, when the Moors invaded Spain, they brought a lot of their musical influences. Uh, influences from India, uh, Cuba, there's all kinds of uh, things that over the years influenced flamenco. The Spaniards uh, brought back um, different musical influences in their I guess, world quest. Uh, anyway, uh, flamenco is mostly identified by its rhythms. Instead of names of songs, you have names of rhythms like bolores, farroca, alegres, soleares, things like that. So, um, I'm going to start off with a little bit of flamenco music. This is called, uh, well, this is a combination of two rhythms, uh, tientos and tangos. The tangos is not to be confused with the Argentina. Tango or tango, is a, they're not the same thing. For one thing, this has an S on the end, the other one doesn't. <laughs> so it's, it's multiple times as good. Anyway, here it goes. Tientos y tangos. Y tangos. Thank you. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do a song that I heard Marty Robbins do many years ago. It wasn't one of his bigger hits, but it's one I really liked a lot. It's one called uh, Hurt. So if I hurt anybody, it'll be appropriate. two rhythms. Uh, one is a Spanish rhythm, but it's not a flamenco rhythm. Not all rhythms from Spain are flamenco rhythms. The second one, the first one's a, a bolero. I'm sure you've all heard of the rhythm bolero. It starts out in a bolero. Then it breaks into a rumba. The rumba actually, the Spaniards brought it back from Cuba, uh, which has been adopted and changed a little bit uh, into flamenco, but there's a Latin American rumba, rumba, boy, I'm in trouble with my pronunciation, rumba, um, which is not the same as uh, the Cuban and not the same as the flamenco. The flamenco, there, there's been some changes. So anyway, the second rhythm I want to break into will be a rumba. Combined, we call it rumba lero, rumba and bolero, rumba lero.
them their favorite rhythm is almost always going to be bullerias. It's very lively, a lot of fun. It's a kind of a complicated rhythm. It's uh in flamenco we have what we call compas, which is a set of beats with uh, assigned accents on certain beats. And in flamenco there's a lot of 12 beat compas. Uh bullerias is one of them. And the accents fall on the third, the sixth, the eighth, the tenth, and the twelfth beat. They go, they go in sections of twelve beats. Uh, the music is improvisational, but not in the way that we would improvise in 
say America genre music where we're improvising and doing solos to certain chord progressions. In flamenco, <clears throat> you string musical ideas together. The, the chord progression is immaterial, uh, other than it being in the mood of, of the music. Uh, but uh, they're melodic ideas strung together to a particular rhythm. So here's some flamenco. Thank you. 